you see the majority of people are dead sleep, zombies, walking asleep, like walking deads. Can't see, can't understand, can relate, only hungry, only afraid, only suffering all day long, terrified and stressed and, 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 and lost, lost in darkness. So how can it be that the Creator, that He understood the nature of His creation, will send us to such a mission where we, for sure, are about to lose our path? How can it be? Like we said before, please, Father in heaven, have mercy on us and guide us. Something wrong happened. What happened? That is the different perspective that I'm offering to you to look and to see the nature of creation from a different angle. Think about it. It was also the first time for the Creator to create the world. It was also the first time that the Creator himself dressed himself in body. And he himself, because there was no one else except for him earlier before creation, he did not send us on a mission. He sent himself on a mission. There was no one there. He didn't look at me and said, Hey, Dr. Moshe, you're going to go and do this. Hey, you're going to do that. No, he did not say that. He did not look at people and said, Hey, you, I know you. You have a role. You have a mission. He volunteered. He himself sent himself to be covered and dressed into physicality. And he himself lost his way in that journey. And you cannot say the Creator is lost, but the portions that been covered with bodies and skin lost their radio. No reception, no Wi-Fi, no connection. You cannot talk. And if you talk, you, know, you don't feel that someone hears you. And even if he does, and he's talking to you, you're not hearing him. We lost touch. We lost connection. And think about it, that he is talking to himself. Okay, now that's the new perspective. Look at it, think about it. He's talking to himself. Like you prepare yourself, you have a test, you have a mission. You're talking to yourself, all right, now I'm going to pass that test, I'm sure. I'm going to do it, it's a big thing. I'm not before your wedding, before your finals, before a competition, before something, before your engagement, before a great class, before a great opportunity, something you're about to do. You're about to take a step in life. You're talking to yourself, I'm going to make it, it's going to be okay okay, I'm going I'm, I'm to be strong, I'm going to succeed this time, it's going to be wonderful, I will be able to execu execute my, my dreams, my hope, it will take place, it will happen. He's talking to himself, and he's saying to himself, all right, we're going to do it. I'm going to give my life, my love, all my kindness to my creations, to myself. And he's talking to himself, I'm going to be in touch with myself, I'm going to succeed, I'm going to make it, I'm going to do it, and he's doing it. He's going all the way, sending that huge beam of light down into that empty space that he created after removing himself to the sides and creating a huge round empty space, empty from his godliness, from the light, empty from the love, empty from healing, empty from all kinds of goodness, empty and dark and hollow. And into the center of darkness, of emptiness, he is sacrificing and sending himself and he's losing it. And he's losing touch. And physicality is blocking him and surrounding him. And he's now stuck in that prison of physicality. And he's saying, my children! And we can't hear him. The wall of iron, that iron ceiling of steel, that cold and bitter separation traumatized us so badly that we are doubting our own existence. You're not even sure you exist. You're not even sure that you're not part of a dream of someone else. You don't know who you are. You have so many theories. You have so many thoughts. Your mind is going with such crazy contradictions to such opposite directions. All the time you're lost. All the time you're scared. All the time you're afraid. You say, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to succeed. For sure I'm going to fail. No, this time it's going to happen. No, for sure it's not going to work. And you are going lost and confused. And even when he's offering to you the best offerings in the world, and he's calling you with the most nice and kind and loving voice in the world, your mind is trapped in your prison, in your captivity. And you don't know how to make that connection. So now we're going to talk first of all about how to make that connection and then going to understand the outcomes of making that wonderful connection. The world does not exist. Because Olam Milshon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world calls Alma Deshika, world of light. It's just a fake. We're just inside of a 